Welcome to 10 Minute Trash Art with Museo Museum and Cultural Center in Anaheim. I'm Della and today I'm going to show you how to make art out of things you already have at home. You don't need to buy anything at all because I'll show you how to make art out of things that you would otherwise just throw away. This is good for the earth too because the less we throw away, the happier the planet is. Before we get started on our project, I'm going to show you some amazing things that have been made out of trash art. These pictures are from Museo Museum's Trash Artist Challenge, where trash artists in schools all over Orange County make art out of recycled and reused materials. Because I really like Star Wars, I thought that I'd make a project today that was inspired by the Desert World Tatooine. The cool thing about this project is that I can also use it as a creative playset when I'm done with it. I'll show you how to make some really cool buildings and plants for your make-believe world, but the best thing about this trash art project is that you can make whatever you want to make. You might decide to make a castle, or a fairy village, or a big city in the future, and those are all great. Another great thing about trash art, other than not having to go out to buy the materials you'll use, is that there's really no right way or wrong way to do it. I'll show you different ways to do the same thing, so the only limit is your imagination. Let's get started. First, a few quick rules to keep our project safe and fun for everyone. Before you get started, put something down to protect whatever you're working on. You can use a drop cloth or cut open trash bag, some old cardboard, newspapers, whatever you have at home already. Remember that you don't have to go buy anything to make trash art. Number two, and this is really important, if you have a little sister or a little brother at home, be very careful about what you use for your trash art project. You don't want to use anything that's small enough for them to choke on if they put it in their mouth. So please ask an adult in your house to help you gather up your trash art materials. Number three, you also don't want to cut yourself, so avoid using anything sharp like an aluminum can lid and make sure to have an adult cut anything that's hard to cut. Number four, make sure that your recyclables are clean and dry and that you don't use anything that might be dirty or dangerous. Number five, if you have paint and you want to use it, be sure it doesn't make a mess. And number six, always clean up after yourself. That's a big part of being an artist. Okay, so here are some of the things I found at home or in the yard to make trash art. You can see here that I've got some cardboard packing material from the inside of a box, but you don't need anything that fancy. You can use a regular box like this one or this one. Since Tatooine, the inspiration for our project, has lots of domes on top of the buildings, I collected and made some things that were that shape. All of these were from our recycling bin, or yard, or were things that no one wanted anymore. I have some ping pong balls here, but if you don't have any ping pong balls to make your domes and you want to make domes, you can use aluminum foil that's shaped like that. Or you can even take paper and a little tape and make a dome. If you have to cut open something like this, again, please ask an adult in your house to do it because you definitely don't want to cut yourself. 
I wanted two tall spires to be the gate to my desert town, so I took a couple of empty water bottles and made spires out of some recycled aluminum foil. You don't have any? That's okay. Here's one that I made out of paper rolled into a cone shape and taped together. See? There's no right way and no wrong way in trash art. So don't worry if you don't have something that's the shape you want. You can take some cleaned off dry aluminum foil or even just paper and tape to make the shape that you want. These yogurt containers would work too. If you're making trees or towers, cardboard tubes are just about perfect. Just make sure that you cut four little slits on the bottom so that you can fold them out and then your cardboard tube will stand up. You can see here with this one I taped it down. I even found some things in the front yard that I can use. Just be sure that whatever you find is clean and safe before you use it in your project. Ask an adult. These are seed pods and I think that they look a little bit like land speeders from Star Wars. I have this empty bottle and this will be my land speeder parking post. I also brought in a few rocks and sticks and I might use them, I might not. I've got some leaves here that kind of look like banners or flags, I might use those. Now my base is from the back of a broken picture frame. Can you see that? Yep. But you can use a piece of cardboard or even paper that you draw on or paint to look like the ground. If you don't have anything like that, just leave it out. You don't need it. The table or the floor or a desk can be your ground when you play with the set that you've made. We have here some pine cones that kind of look like cool alien trees. I might even put this on top. Now if you have lots of time and want to get really fancy, you can use a technique called paper mache. It's perfect for trash art because it uses things that you probably already have at home and that don't cost a lot. You will definitely need an adult to help with this next part. Here are three different ways to make paper mache paste. The first and easiest way is to just add one cup of regular white flour to one cup of water in a bowl and mix it up with a spoon or your fingers until it's nice and smooth and about the consistency of Elmer's glue. Add in half a teaspoon of salt if you have it. Add more water if it's too thick. Be sure to get all the lumps out. Do not eat this. It's glue. The second way is to add half white glue with half water, so one to one, and mix well. If it's too thin, you might need to add more glue. This method requires a lot of glue, though. Who has that much glue lying around? I don't. The third recipe definitely requires an adult to make the paste. You combine one quarter cup of cornstarch to two and a half cups of cool water, add in one tablespoon of salt if you have it, and mix it up. Then heat it on medium until it's just about boiling and continue to heat it gently for five minutes. You'll see it get nice and thick in the pot. Remove from heat and let it cool down all the way. Remember, this is adults only. Next, you'll want to tear up some old paper. You can use almost any paper, like the newsprint that grocery store ads are printed on, or tissue paper from gift bags, or even paper towels or toilet tissue. Don't get paper that's too thick or it will be hard to mold into your trash art sculpture. But remember, paper towels and tissue paper are really hard to find in stores right now, so don't use anything without asking the adult in your house. You don't want to use anything in your trash art project that your family still needs. So tear the paper about into two inch squares if your project is small, or into thin strips if your project is bigger. It doesn't have to be perfect. Whatever you have is fine. Dip the piece of paper into the cooled off paper mache paste and kind of remove the excess with your fingers like this. Make sure you have paste all over the paper, but you don't want too much or your project will take too long to dry and could get moldy. Now just put it on your project and smooth it down and keep going. 
overlapping each piece of paper slightly until you've covered your project. And you want to make sure that when you're putting this on you smooth it down so that your piece of paper fits right alongside of your project. You don't want pieces sticking out. So make sure while it's wet, keep smoothing it down so that you don't get weird lumps and that all of your details come out in your final project. Okay, and you see here that you don't have to cover absolutely everything on your piece. You just want to kind of get the details cemented down with your paper mache if you're going to do it. And again, if not, that's fine. I will show you other ways that you can finish your piece and make it really cool. As you can see here that I just put a bunch of different scrap paper with the paste around my domes to kind of cement them down and when it dries that'll be really strong. And around my front door that was just rolled up paper right there. Now remember you want to get your glue all over the front and the back of your strip or your square of paper but not too much. You don't want it to be gloppy and dripping. You just want to have glue on both sides and then just paste it down and kind of mold it to your object, to your recycled object. And keep going all the way up until it's covered. Again, you don't have to do this, it's optional, but if you want to, I'll see you when it's done. And once you have all of your paper mache done, just go ahead and put it someplace and leave it to dry for, well, as long as it takes. You want it to be nice and dry before you paint it or draw on it. So one little trick you can use if you're using paper to finish your, pro your project because you don't have paint and you want the paper to not be bright white, you can just take some cool down leftover coffee and you can just kind of dab the paper like so until it's a little bit brown and then leave it to dry. And then you have paper that has kind of an old, nice desert texture to it. See there, and I leave that to dry. You can also use tea, leftover tea to do it, the same thing. See here you've got bright white and here you have a nice little textured brown color. So here's that coffee stained paper and I just drew on it in pencil. And so you can make your buildings that way. You can finish your buildings that way. Just a little bit of coffee, a little bit of paper and a pencil, and you don't even need the coffee. You can leave the paper white. And now I'll show you a way that you can paint yours and turn it into anything you want. You can see mine is kind of a lot of browns and golds and things like that because it's a desert town. But yours can be anything you want anything you have the paint for or the imagination for. And again, you don't need paint. And so here we have our Star Wars inspired desert alien planet village. And it was all made out of recyclables and things I found in the yard. And again, if you don't have paint, remember how I showed you, you can finish it just with paper and pencil or pen and markers. You don't need paint for this project. Thank you, all of you artists out there, for joining us today and learning how to make trash art with Museo Museum and Cultural Center in Anaheim, California. Go make some art!